you might not be a part of this house, mm -hmm. or you might not be a part of this house, but as long as you're a part of a, a body, mm -hmm. then if you ain't part of a body, you're free. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I said that. Mm -hmm. That's true. Hello. Mm -hmm. Because a person, the Bible says, you ain't supposed to have two, two masters. Mm -hmm. You either want to love one and hate the other. <coughs> So you can't be cool with Satan and try to be on Jesus' team. It just don't work like that. You know how back in the day you had somebody that tried to be wishy, uh, wishy or wishy, 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 Oh God! One minute they want to be on the good team, yeah. then they gonna talk about. Yeah, I don't like it anyway. Yep, you right. Uh, damn you are! I'm confused, man. <laughs> yeah, straddling the fence. Luke Warm. Thank you. I use it. I don't use this much. Luke Warm. Either you gonna be hot or cold. That's one thing about the world. They gonna be real with you. They'll give you something to drink and get high quicker than they would feed you. Right? At least you know. At least they know, you know, hey, we go kick you to get something to drink, but you know you got to buy your own food. Yeah. I'll pay your way to the club and get you something to drink. Huh? You think you want to feed me first. Right. But the church, we have really lost that concept. Come on, I'm getting good. All right. Y'all looking at me, and I know the bus is getting ready to open it. What is it? Amen. 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 go home get ready for the Super Bowl. Amen. Amen. Okay. It says here, don't let your grass grow under your feet, nor the day will pass without reward as you mature right. in your experience with our Father, with our Master Jesus Christ. Without these qualities, you can't see the right, you can't see right. Obvious that your old sinful life has been wiped off from the books. When you come to God, the things that you, like when I, I told y'all I used to sell drugs and all that, God said, okay. You remember, but I don't. That's right. Because the Bible said, once I'm a new creature in him, the old things have passed away and all the things. I don't care if you used to get high from sun up to sun down. Yeah. When you come in, God, he wipes that off. I don't care if you just run around here giving HIV to people. Oh, we don't like to talk about that one. That's a real sense. Once you godly repent and turn from that thing, wipes it. Yes. And you ain't spreading AIDS no more, but you the, the very thing that try to keep you enslaving, but you going and empower and producing fruit. God said, look at what the enemy meant for me. God talked around me. You hear me? Just because you ain't uh, back in the day. Listen. You know when it's time to eat, and you know that, like my aunt Dolores, we, she's a hoarder. I'm named after my older aunt. She's a hoarder. When we made her move, she had books from 1859. Yeah. She was born in 1930. What you know with this stuff? We like at the Lord's, we gotta get all this stuff and get this stuff away. But no, them are my important papers. <laughs> These are receipts at stores. We don't have a uh, 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 smacks. No. <laughs> we don't have Kreskis. Hello. Friendlies. We got friendlies no more. You don't even have a piece of furniture you had in friendlies. Right. <laughs> Some of this, we got to throw it away. Hey, the Lord, see, the boy, when we. I told him, the apostle, I said, I ain't helping her move. <laughs> and God just wants to give me, because I'm telling you, she got everybody's stuff. When somebody died, oh, she got it in their house. house. <laughs> had everything. Had a coat that my great-grandmother had. Amen. A fur me going around. It probably worth some money. I didn't want it. No, just throw it away. Get it out of here. So far. So we got to be careful. When we hoard and keep stuff. Because God said He wiping it away and making you lose. Why are you gonna hold on? Why well, I'm gonna hold on some Nikes that I used to use when I was selling drugs and it brought a lot of money? I'm gonna keep these Nikes. I'm gonna keep the Nikes on. I'm gonna get some money. But when God has already told me there's benefits in this thing, He said if you seek first the kingdom of God and all His righteousness, all these things will be added to you. So all that junk and all that mess. That I did out in the world. It's so not. It's not even. It don't even operate this realm. It's obsolete. Yeah. Yeah. It's like an old cell phone. I had a bad phone. Sure did. Let me try to use it now. You think I'm gonna get it out or reception? Not at all, cause it's obsolete. I had an old school computer. 
the IBM, the five and a quarter floppy dish is sticking in. You think I can use that now? You, know. you can't even play music on it. <laughs> you can't even find parts on it. <laughs> Don't they told me I, I had, I had, I had a uh, like a uh, 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 old car, and I love my car. That was my first car. I was in 210. And they had a hatchback, and I had the KMCs and the beat on it. They had Lolly in the back. Mm. They told me, they said, well, Lolly, Miss Lolly, you got to get rid of this car. Mm. I didn't want to get rid of it. Mm. You want to get rid of it because they don't even make parts for that car. That was the first series Nissan because mm. it was Dyson. Then it turned into Nissan that we know now. Mm. It was an 81 Dyson 210. I'm telling you, it was powerful. It was nice. Mm. And I was just a ride. <laughs> They said, man, what if you're in the car? You can't even find parts for this car. The devil is a lot. If they can find parts for them old Ford and them <laughs> old Chevy. Right. Mm -hmm. No, you got an old foreign car. Mm -hmm. And when you have an old foreign car, a lot of those old foreign cars that were like in the early 80s and the 70s, they made them overseas and they shipped them over here. We don't have parts for them. I said, y'all ain't got a junkyard or nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't get a window or seat or knob or nothing. Didn't want to embrace that God is trying to give me something else yeah. new. Amen. Because yeah. I love this car. Yeah. Let it go. That thing that making you stay slave to, just let it go. Let it go. Keep it moving. He said, so friends, I confirm in this invitation to you, his choice of you, because he made, he invited you in this thing. He said, don't put off, don't put off, do it now. Do this and you will have life on a firm footing. The streets will be, uh, the streets will be paved and the way wide open into an eternal kingdom with the master and savior. Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. The Bible said that He wouldn't let your feet, when you hear His, He won't even let your feet slide. Amen. That's the problem. He said He won't even let your feet slide. You know how we go out there in that ice? Mm -hmm. He said He ain't going to let you slide. He ain't, ain't going to let you fall. Amen. That's the other translation. The NLT said, if we do this, we'll never fall. Thank that made me think. Mm. Read it in the NLT because my time is gone. He said we will never fall if we do according to what that, that scripture just said. Just in that passage. Huh? And what? Traditional church says, you know, we all fall short of the glory of God. Right. Can we grow up from that? Amen. Yes. <laughs> That's justification of doing what you want to do. Can I be real? Yes. That's justification. That just said, you know what? God, you know your heart. You keep puffing, you're going to have a heart attack and be out of here. Amen. <laughs> Now, if he was already wiped it away, why are you going to go back and, and inflict yourself with the very thing that he didn't deliver you from? The Bible said, a dog don't return back to his vomit. But people, we do. Come on, people. Let's grow up with the, with the Lord. Let us change our mindset. Let's have a paradigm shift and change and cause us to be mature and be able to be imparted and being able to be a blessing to the kingdom of God and also be a blessing to our past. Amen. 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 I say that again. Amen. Come on, people of God. Jesus. Let us mature. Mm -hmm. Let us go and do what we're supposed to do in the earth. Amen. And be a blessing to the kingdom of God as well in, as to our past. Amen. 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 Uh, who all in here that are members? Just raise your hand. Everybody that's actually 
the revelation and they departed from it. That's a spirit of uh, a spirit of not knowing revelation and not being able to do the things in the house of God. Amen. That's a spirit. I come against that today. We ain't got no intercessors. Where the intercessors at? I knew you were intercessors. Yeah, I know you were intercessors. Don't play with me. I'm serious. Y'all did only two intercessors? I don't know. Oh, y'all should be uh, Oh, okay. No, no, I'm just asking. <laughs> no, you good, baby. You good. If you don't know what it means, that's not a problem. Don't think I'm coming down on you. I'm just trying to see what God got in the house because every army always has orders. In-house and outside the house. That's right. So, my thing of it is, the hurting of You're not in the seat? Me? No, no, no. I'm looking past you. <laughs> you come in and intercede. I don't come in before everybody and intercede. I intercede on my way here and I don't go up in the front. Okay. I stay in my position. Okay, so I'm going to come against. Let's pray. Thank you. Everybody, let's stand. I see you. I'm going to give this woman is too powerful. Everybody knows about you because of weather and all that good stuff. And you know, you're going to always have your faith in you. I'm, one thing I can say, y'all need to give y'all stuff a hand. Clap. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What did you think about yourself? Y'all just going to patty cake? Me. I would go a party by myself and honey be content. My sister looks at me, I'll get the wiggle in my toes, be like, girl, it's good over here. Hey, no, 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 I just celebrate myself. First of all, because you can't pull out the ice and snow. You know, and true believers, yeah, they're they want a word from God. They don't care. They may. Well, okay, it's going to snow tonight. Okay, they got to be detrimental snow nights. Amen. Okay. Hey, Amen. So I want y'all to know God sees that, and that's commitment to God. That's a great, that's a great. So you in this house today, there's a special anointing and a special blessing for you anyway, just coming out through all of this stuff. Because you persevered. That's what you call persevered. I encourage, what I'm going to do, I'm going to charge this atmosphere for every person that is an intercessor and every person that is prophetic in nature. Mm -hmm. They got real quiet. Prophets in the house, true prophets, not operating in old wine skin, but grace prophets. There's a difference. I had to teach on that. That's an old different one, too. Because we ain't talking about you operating in the back room in the conversation. That's here, I gotta work. The devil is alive. You put, the, you put the prophets back in the house. Amen. 20 Ephesians 4 and 1 Corinthians, he put them back in the house. Amen. So if you're an air prophet, get it straight. Get it right, because I'm going to check you in the Holy Ghost, and I'm going to still love you and eat cake with you. Amen. 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 
Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, God, we thank you for these people. Everyone that can ask to Lord. I come against every mindset, every hurt, every pain that caused these people to be captured to the old. God, I ask you to transform their minds, transform their hearts, transform their spirits to be able to work effectively in the kingdom of God. I come against every spirit of python that want to suffocate their ministries, that want to suffocate them out of being who they called to be. But God, you said you called them into this life. And God, I declare and decree by your blood and by your spirit and by the washing of the word. Wash the hearts, God. Wash the minds, God. Wash the spirits, God. So they'll be able to flow and they'll be able to move and have they been and being confident in this one thing is the gospel of Jesus Christ. I come against every spirit of error that's been sent to this ministry. I annihilate you and I cut you to the core right now. For the word of God said that no weapon is formed against this place shall prosper. And every tongue that rise against thee thou shalt condemn. This is the inheritance of the saints. If you got a heavy language, get into it now. Come on, get in, get in, get in, your, get your heavy language. Because God is doing a rebirth in the day. He's rebirthing. He's rebirthing. Activate God. The gift of God. The gift of God, God. Stir God. And God, give her the heart. The heart of you and the heart of her pastor, God. I come against every assignment of the enemy that want to annihilate and cause a spirit of confusion to come upon their minds. Well, God, you said you have not given us a spirit of fear, but the power of love. And I call for the sound mind. Come forth. New birth. There's a lot of y'all going to be birthed into some new rams today. I might not touch every last one of you, but no, God is touching you. God is touching you. God is touching you. Teach the word. Teach the word. He said, I'm calling you to a higher place. He said, I want you to just dig into that word. He said, because you want to be an effective teacher for this end time. And when you speak of the places where you're going to have you to go, they're going to listen. Because they're going to they gonna remember you from the old to the new. And they're going to sit with you God said, need the word of God. God impregnate her with the word. With a new dimension of the word of God. A new, come on, read for a second. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Let it out. Oh, yeah. This Thank you, Thank you. Don't worry about the kids. Let them flow. That's the water. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. She's going to be more like an evangelist. She's going to be on the go. Thank you, Jesus. Get your money. She'll be on. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. Is it because she really loves me, but you keep on focusing on me? Thank you, Lord. 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 Thank you, Lord.
God. Thank you, Lord. 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 I'm talking to you, turn your head and look at me before I leave you to come to the bathroom. There's going to be an encounter with an angel. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. And this angel will visit you. Thank you, Lord. 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 Thank you, thank you, Jesus. You raised the old. Thank you. Start new. This is your new day. Thank you. Write this down. What is it? January 1st. February 2nd. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. This is your birthday. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord 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 Jesus. You need to grab hold and tighten your pocket. You always have, Jesus. but you know you like. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah, this is what we do. This is what old church says. Thank you, Lord. She got nothing to worry about. She's too busy. Mm -hmm. But she waiting on y'all because she's a boss and she got to go and do stuff. Thank you, she got to go and establish churches. Thank you, Jesus. She can't stand no church and just keep on putting y'all on the leg and get the kid in your mouth. Oh, I can't. I'm just saying. Amen. 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 Praise Amen. the Lord. Amen. You remember how long you've been with the boss? Thank you, Lord. About two years. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. I pray. Your heart, you got a big heart. And you love the Lord. I pray that God send more men in here so you won't feel like I'm just the only one. I know you ain't the only one, but I'm talking about a, a real, real brother. They really love God. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, That's Lord. what I'm talking about. Thank you. I see many men coming in here. Yeah. Everybody might not have the love of God. Thank you. The root of heart desire for the ministry to go forth. Thank you, Jesus. Because you really love your pastor. Thank you, Lord. Do. Thank you, Jesus. And God, I pray that you send more men in here. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. And God, I pray I come against every assignment of the enemy that this man's been attacked in his body. Thank you, Jesus. Every spirit of sleep happening has got to go. Thank you, Lord. But God give him the strategies and the wisdom. Well, you don't know any insulin dependent or you uh, high blood pressure, none of that. High blood pressure has been really attacking our black men. I come against that spirit of the infirmity. God's going to give you a strategy how to get off of that high blood pressure. But you got to yield to it. He's going to tell you what to eat, what not to eat, when to eat. Obey it. Before seven days is up. He's going to give it to you because he, he want to get you healthy and whole. Not saying that you're not, but I'm saying in this day and time that we're living in, there are bigger demons that we got to fight. And you are a warrior. He's going to use you mighty. But you, I see unto you, you got that, 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 that heart. You're a warrior, but you're a loving warrior. You sit back in the cut, but you're a lion. If you, if you get him running up, he'll tear your head off. <laughs> So he, he had need of you. Because the thing of it is, when you got good, solid men in ministry, am I speaking to you? You'll be able to cause this house to really be balanced. A lot of times we see in churches now, there's so many women and not too many girls. But you'll be able to affect the kingdom of God and have your brothers to come in the house. Because they see the love in the heart. And if God don't bless y'all with a big van, Amen. I know y'all might have a little van or something down or might be in each other's cars. Do you drive? 
You like driving? You you have first first oh it's bad driver right here praise Amen. Lord Amen. <laughs> See I'm more I'm a type of prophet and a type of uh, well, I just say leader. I ask them if they like doing that in their natural life, you use that to their ability in their spiritual life. Cause he wouldn't mind going pick up folks. Amen. Would you mind picking up folks to bring them to the house of God? Amen. God, I declare and decree Thank you, Lord Jesus. that a van come forth in this ministry. Amen. That they'll be able to go get more souls to be added to the kingdom. And this brother said, now I'm going to need somebody to back him up when he can't make it, when he got to take. Are you married? No. You're not married? No. Oh, well, he can permit his ways to the house of God. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Singleness, boy, we can, we can have Bibles in the bed and everything. You want to get married? Yes, ma'am. Oh, okay. Well, that's It'll happen. <laughs> but she got to be a God-fearing woman. She can't be one to come against what you're trying to do for God. Amen. Because it'll be a conflict. The devil is a lie. I come Amen. against you. I come against the Delilahs. Thank you. Yeah. They want to lay in you. Thank want you to lay in their lap. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Cutting your spiritual locks off. The devil is a lie. Amen. Well, God, you said it when a man findeth a wife, he findeth a good thing and obtains favor with the Lord. Amen. So, God, I ask you to let that spiritual thing come first, then that natural thing. The more you come in here, the more you give God, the more God going to give you. And why I say that, I'm a witness and I'm a testimony of it. Once I got all of them bad husbands out of my life <laughs> and went to singleness and just let God be my mate, when you start letting God love you the way God want to love you, when that woman comes, she can't love you like God was doing you. Now, now I'm not saying you making her no God, but she got to show something. She got to do, she got to cook, clean, do something. <laughs> and if she can't do all of that, exit stage left. You're not the one. Holler at you, peace, love, and college. Amen. 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 It's time to be real with my brother. Amen. Brothers don't like eating no microwave dinner. Don't do something. Hot dogs, the devil is a lot. They ain't even good for us. Old school, they used to cook them a good meal. Keep them straight out of the if they want their gym before, wash their clothes, and hire their little jumpsuit, and yeah. they sell them off the way. All right. Yeah. You want a gym? Man, I need a job. Look. <laughs> <laughs> Look. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, praise God. 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 Praise Favor and get y'all a van. Amen. <laughs> Tell them they need a tax write off. Amen. I know a church that there's a good church. As a matter of fact, it's a church I go for, and I'm a good employee here. This is how I talk to people. I'm a good employee here. And you know, every job I ever worked, I went there and worked twice or more. Am I lying or am I telling the truth? Amen. Right. Because my character stays. And I'm not saying that the boss, I'm boasting in the Lord like Paul. Right. Amen. Amen. You going to tell them? You tell them. I'm not trying to tell y'all what y'all do with your inventory, but I'm just saying we have a need. All right, so do you know any dealerships that want a tax write-off that want to donate a van to Amen. 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 All right. I'm an employee of GM. Amen. Amen. Take a tax letter. You want to possibly go, go get the van. Can you drive in the AC? Thank you. Amen. 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 I want you. Come here. Oh, she correcting kids and praying at the same time. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> God said he had need for you in this house. Amen. 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 What you scared of? Be truthful. Don't lie to me. You got, you got insecurities. I know. Poor child, poor baby. Don't worry about let them insecurities go. Because the insecurities will put you right in the grave and in the hell. So God, in the mighty name of Jesus, every insecurity, every, oh, I see it. 